Are you ready to get your fix? With the Wix here on this beautiful Tuesday, December 20th, 2022, and welcome to the show. If this is your first time on this channel, we talk all things NFL related. So if that's something you like, consider hitting that subscribe as we're trying to reach 250 by New Year's Day. I know it's very doable. We're only 49 away, so make sure to subscribe to the channel. All right, so today we're going to dive into the team that I got hanging up right here, the Green Bay Packers, okay? Look, they're 6-8 and eight right now. At the beginning of the year or halfway through the year, you're thinking, okay, their season's over and done with. You're starting to think, well, is Rodgers going to stay around for one more season? What's going to be the case? Yada, yada. But guess what? They still have a chance to make the playoffs. I know, right? Playoffs? We're talking about playoffs? Yeah, they do. And Ari Mirov on Twitter actually dove through what the Packers need to have happen in order to make the playoffs. And if they do make it, I'm assuming it would be the seventh seed. It wouldn't be the sixth seed or anything like that or anything higher. It would have to be the seventh seed. But here's what Green Bay needs to do in order to make the playoffs per Ari Mirov. First, they have to win out. Okay, they have to beat Miami, which they got to go to Miami. And then they got the next two home games in Minnesota and Detroit. So if they can win those three games, they're sitting pretty. And if they do that, they also need this to happen. They need Seattle to lose all next of all, all three of their next games. Okay, Seattle has to lose to Kansas City. They have to lose to the Jets. They have to lose to the Rams. All right, if that happens, they need one more thing to to happen. They need Washington or the New York Giants to lose out as well. Okay, so Washington has to lose to San Fran, Cleveland, and Dallas. Or Giants have to lose to Minnesota, Indy, and Philadelphia. Now, if Detroit and Green Bay finish 9-8, and eight, the strength of victory would decide the tiebreaker. So it would be very, very close. So this is a lot. This is a stretch. Green Bay right now can make the playoffs. It seems very unlikely that this is going to happen. I mean, look, realistically, Seattle could lose out. I could see him losing to Kansas City. I could see him losing to the Jets. The Rams would be iffy. The Rams would have to play solid, like really good football that week in order to beat them. Uh, then you look at Washington. I think they could lose out, honestly. San Fran, one of the better teams in the National Football League. The Browns, they're starting to find a little rhythm here and there. And Dallas, they could definitely lose that. The Giants, same scenario. I just, I feel like Indy... I think the Giants could beat Indy, but we've seen what, what they did to the Vikings this past uh, weekend. They did lose, okay, but they had a decent lead. I don't think they'll make the same mistake twice. But Green Bay, Green Bay has a chance to still make the playoffs. All hopes are not quite dead unless, you know, they lose this upcoming week to the Miami Dolphins, which I'm assuming is actually going to happen. But hey, playoff hopes are still alive. Season's not dead, so let's see what the Green Bay Packers have in store for us these next three weeks. Anyways, if you liked the video, make sure to drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. 49 subs away from our goal of 250, so make sure to help me reach that. Anyways, have a great rest of your night, folks, and you just got your fix with the Wicks.